Hello and welcome our blog viewers to RTD's News English Edition. As usual, we'll begin tonight's news with the major and top highlights. Celebration of the National Day of the Republic of Djibouti in Dubai. Holding of an important consultation meeting on public security in the Ministry of the Interior. And on the international scene, we got the entry into force of the obligation of the past, COVID, for the triple vaccination in France. Those were our major highlights. Welcome back to our new summer blog viewers. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gale, expressed his cooperation and solidarity to his Minister of Health, Mr. Ahmed Rabli Abdillah, deploring the death which occurred this Sunday of his father, the late Rabli Abdillah Bogore. May God arm you with patience and courage to bear the loss of your loved one, said the head of state who prayed the mercy to welcome the late notable Djiburian in his internal paradise. Died this Sunday in Djibouti, the late Rubli Abdili Bogore, the father of the Minister of Health, was the head of a large family with several children and grandchildren. Inna lillah wa inna lehi rajaun. An important delegation led by the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, went to Dubai on January 15, 2021 to participate in the various events dedicated to the celebration of the National Day of the Republic of Djibouti at the Dubai 2020 exhibition where our country was honored. The Prime Minister was accompanied by the Minister of Trade and Tourism, Mr. Mohammed Warsama Diri, the Minister of Youth and Culture, Dr. Hibu Mumin Asawi, the Minister Delegate in Charge of the Digital Economy and Innovation, Mrs. Maria Mohammedou, and the Secretary of State in Charge of Investment and Private Development, Mr. Safiya Mohammed Ali Gadali, the Ambassador of Djibouti to the United Arab Emirates, Mr. Musa Mohammed Ahmed, as well as the Honorable Deputies, Mr. Abdul Siki Dewey and Mrs. Umma Mohammed Hamid. The delegation also included the Secretary General of the Prime Minister's Office, Mr. Nagib Abdullah Mohammed, the Director of the Cabinet of the Prime Minister's Office, Mr. Yusuf Awlaid Farah, the Director General of the National Tourism Agency and Flight Commissioner, Mr. Usman Abdi Mohammed, and many other senior officials in business men and women of our country. The United Arab Emirates delegation was led by His Excellency the Minister of Tolerance The Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence and Commissioner General of Expo 2020 Dubai, Sheikh Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyad, and included important personalities from the Emirati government, such as Mrs. Reem Al Hashimi, Minister of State for International Cooperation and Director General of Expo 2020 Dubai. During his speech for the celebration of the National Day, the Prime Minister, His Excellency Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, thanked on behalf of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gilly, the host country, for the innovation and the warm welcome extended to his delegation. Our pavilion dedicated to the existence in 2020 Dubai allows to discover not only the cultural riches and natural beauty of our country, but also the existing business opportunities in Djibouti, as well as the latest development infrastructure set up by our country under the enlightened policy of His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gilly in the fields of port and logistics infrastructures, energy, tourism, and telecommunication. In an interview, the Minister of Trade and Tourism also recalled the importance of this pavilion by congratulating the first of all, the Director General of ONTD and Commissioner General of the Pavilion and all his team for the success of their work for the holding of this pavilion, which allows our country to shine on the international scene. <laughs>
In his speech on this occasion, the Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence and Commissioner General of the Expo Dubai 2020, Sheikh Nahyan, bin Mubarak and Nahyan, welcomed the Djiburian delegation, led by the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, emphasizing the tangible importance of Djibouti's participation in this major international platform. For his part, the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, made his speech. Let's listen. First, thank you, Mr. Mr. for the warm welcome you have given me and my delegation since our arrival in your beautiful country for our participation in the National Day of Djibouti at the World Expo 2020 Dubai. Since October 1, 2021, the site of Expo 2020 in Dubai has become the point of attractions and convergence of millions of visitors. Uh, this day of January 15, 2022, being dedicated to the National Day of the Republic of Djibouti, our country, to our greatest pride, is today honored on the sites of the exhibition. I take this opportunity to tell you on behalf of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar, Gele and the broader Djiboutian people, how happy and honored we are to be present at this great world event. We congratulate the leaders and people of the United Arab Emirates for the success in the organizations of this event, in spite of the current particular context related to the pandemic of COVID-19, and thank them for their support to the participation of our country in this universal exhibition. This international event under the theme Connecting Minds, Creating the Future, coincides with the 50th anniversary of the foundations of the United Arab Emirates and constitute a platform to foster creativity, innovation, and cooperation on a global scale. This exhibition, which is a showcase for dialogue between culture and civilizations, presents the world with new technologies and infrastructure that strengthen relations between people and the culture of peace. It's also an opportunity to celebrate the ingenuity of men and women who will give in people a glimpse of the future. While thanking you for your presence, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to visit our dedicated pavilion for the 2020 Dubai exhibition to discover not only the cultural richness and natural beauty of our country, but also the largest development infrastructure put in place by our country. Thank you for your kind attention. This Sunday, January 16, 2020, in the morning, the Minister of Interior, His Excellency Mr. Saeed Noor Hassan, chaired an important meeting on public security. This meeting was attended by the different heads of the Public Security Corps, namely the police, the gendarmerie, and the Coast Guard, were also present at this meeting. All the staff on the prefectural administration, namely the prefect of the city of Djibouti, as well as the sub-prefectures of the districts of the city of Djibouti. During this meeting, the officials of the Public Security raised various recurring issues related to public security, including activities related to the sale of drugs, the sale of alcohol, acts of vandalism, begging on the public highway, as well as various other criminal activities and offenses determinal to the tranquility of our fellow citizens. It was also raised the question of the floating population in the residential sectors in the various artities of the capital. The minister insisted at length on the need to take firm and urgent measures to contain the proliferation of these criminal activities in society, especially among the youth. Finally, a specialized, a specialized commission in charge of monitoring its activities has been established and includes the various bodies and officials of the administration concerned with public security. The mediator of the Republic held a meeting in his office with the Burundian delegation today. The mediator of the Republic, Mr. Mu'min Ahmed Sheikh, and his relatives were present at the Burundian delegation was led by the mediator of Burundi, Mr. Edward, and two of his relatives. It was a visit of exchange of experiences, which is part of the interinstitutional cooperation which aims at ensuring good practices between the two institutions. The discussion of this meeting is the practice and methods of self refueling in Burundi. The objective of this meeting is that our institution has a new draft organic law has been developed to strain the actions of the omnison of the Republic by removing the parliamentary filter in order to put in place the direct seizure and by constructing the self-seizure. On his part, the Republic, the Mediator of the Republic, Mr. Mu'min Ahmed Sheikh, has emphasized that since he took office, he was wanted to know the strengths and weaknesses of the function of the mediator through the concept of best practices in country with which are cemeteries. As every morning, elements of the police have presided to control of the wearing of masks in public places, in public transport, markets, shops, and supermarkets. Following the recent resurgence of positive cases of COVID-19 in our country, the Mobile Police Brigade has intensified the control in the last few days to ensure the respect of the very gestures. Interacted by the Ministry of Health, the wearing of masks in all places in all times is part of these new preventive measures to contain the spread of the virus in the community.
are in the public sectors. On this day, January 16, 2022, the epidemiological situation of COVID-19 in the Republic of Djibouti is as follows. 135 patients reported cured. 404 tests were performed. Out of 59 positive cases were found. Out of 404 people tested, 59 positive cases of COVID-19 were recorded. A percentage of 14.65%. Once again, we note the presence of the community circulation of the COVID-19 virus. The Ministry of Health recommends, along with vaccination, lead to reduction of virus transmission and the misinformation of health consequences. The overall assessment of the COVID misinformation was as follows. Moving on right now, ARTA, where led by the, pardon, the team of the Ministry of Youth and Culture in the third stage of its mission went to the food of Mount Ogle. This Thursday morning, after the southern regions, on volunteerism in associative movements in the region, the collective of governance in computer equipment and other, as well as the state of the library took place in the climate of security and with dedication of officials present on the side. For the Minister of Youth and Culture, Her Excellency Dr. Hibo Momin Asoui, beyond the concern of balance between the CDCs in terms of material and human capacities is also a question of implying a dynamic of involvement on the civil society. Moving on towards the international scene right now, as soon in France, where the obligatory mask and the COVID-19 is striking. More than half a million French people will no longer be able to use their vaccination booklet from Saturday. As the government introduced a new measure taking a third booster injection mandatory for adults in order for the booklet to be veiled. In addition, masks are no longer required in the open air in Paris, as a court has ruled that this obligation as an infringement of individual freedom. I think it's good news, says Paris marketing professional Julie Purchisi. I thought it was a little abuse that we were forced to walk down the street with a mask on, so this is great. Finally, we can breathe. We can actually never wear it again. And I don't know how long the rule was in effect, but it's great. Nearly 100 firefighters and support personnel backed by five planes and four helicopters were fighting the most tensions of these fires near Lake Saint Martin in the Neil Hopi National Park, not far from the tourist city of Pelletier, according to the National Fire Management Service. This is one of the most serious fires we have had in the region, said Lorna Ogenda, Director of Operations of CNF, at the scene of the fire outgoing since December 6 due to lighting strikes. By this our beloved viewers, we conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a wonderful evening and thank you.